Hello, I'm Vicky Messer, Director of Product Management at Pcom, co-lead of the 5G Small Cells Architecture and Product Definitions Workgroup, and I'm going to introduce the paper alongside Small Cell Forum Prabhaka Shiprapu from AT&T. Uh, thanks to the contributors and reviewers of this report. The aims of the report are to provide a concise and technical definition of a 5G small cell, provide a consensus view on the types of 5G small cells and small cell networks. The report is supported by an industry survey of operators and vendors, which helps outline lead architectures to meet the planned 5G small cell deployments and lead 5G small cell RAM products and their key characteristics. The report also includes a deep dive into small cell power considerations. It will aim to provide a valuable reference for the target audiences, including silicon, SOC, IP, software and small cell vendors, operators, regulators and planning authorities. And we aim to follow up with a paper on planning, deployment and operational aspects of these architectures and products. It is generally acknowledged in the industry that small cell enabled 5G era spans a wide spectrum of use cases. Small cell forum market analysis has categorized these into five deployment scenarios as shown in the slide here. They are residential or SOHO, indoor enterprises, private industrial, campus environments, outdoor dense urban, and outdoor rural deployment scenarios. Small Cell Forum conducted a market survey covering some 50 operators across the globe to understand how they are planning their small cell deployments in these five deployment categories. For example, the survey shows that the largest number of small cells will be deployed in indoor enterprise. Furthermore, the size of most such networks is between to 2,000 small cells. The paper next addresses the various architectures for small cell networks. It is well known that these architectures are being disaggregated for the purposes of cost and performance efficiencies. This slide shows the variety of architectures which Small Cell Forum considers as being commercially viable and necessary to address the wide spectrum of 5G era deployment scenarios. The architectures are being standardized by 3GPP, Small Cell Forum, and ORAN organizations. Small Cell Forum's focus is the so-called split option six based architecture, which consists of products referred to as SRU, SDU, and SCU. They stand for Small Cell Forum defined radio unit, distributed unit, and central unit. In addition, Small Cell Forum is also developing open specifications for the interfaces between these products. One of the burning questions in the industry today is which disaggregated architecture is preferred by operators for which deployment scenario. This slide gives a glimpse of the survey results addressing this question. For example, the survey suggests that split option six is more popular for indoor enterprise and private networks. Similarly, split option 7.2x is more popular in campus, urban, and rural small cell networks. Finally, split option eight is known to be popular in China, but was underrepresented in the survey. The paper includes a deep dive into factors determining small cell transmit power, looking at safety and recent EU small cell light deployment regulation for planning exemption. These limit the total power in terms of total EIRP in watts. Consensus by members on the survey show 3GPP local area base station for indoor and medium area base station classes for outdoor are key to small cell designs, which limit the power per, per, per antenna and carrier, as well as determining RF specifications. For sub six or frequency range one, this together with the number of antenna connectors, typically four, but ranging two to 16, 
determines the total conducted output power. Combined with antenna gain gives EIRP and this graph shows the permissible small cell configurations for light deployed EU small cells. Small cell product configurations. The paper includes survey responses on detailed product configurations for integrated small cells, split six and seven RU and DUs for each deployment scenario. Key parameters for hardware product design and reference architectures include physical, such as volume, weight, mounting, antenna, power and cooling. On the RF side, frequency range one or two frequency bands, TDD or FDD or both, the maximum bandwidth, number of antenna ports and rated power. And other parameters are also captured such as front hall bandwidth, MIMO layers, 3GPP release and synchronisation. The two graphs below are examples of those in the report and small cell forum members can access the full spreadsheet. The configuration parameter across all products are plotted for different deployment scenarios starting from the smallest residential and increasing in range to rural on the right hand side. For residential, two transmit, two receive or four transmit, four receive is, is sufficient. Four transmit, four receive dominates in the indoor enterprise and private scenarios. Eight transmit, eight receive become more important in outsourced and outdoor scenarios, including urban and rural. Similarly, on the right hand side, you can see how rate of power varies by the range of deployment scenarios. And finally, to download the specifications, please visit the Small Cell Forum website.